My name is Adam Voss. I'm a traveler, an entertainer, and I'm a marketing geek on the hunt for cool brands. I've got less than 12 minutes to tell you about their story. This is 12 for 12. I'm here at Bellarmine College Prep in San Jose, California, waiting for my dear friend, Joe Wagner, who is a professional amateur skier, snowboard uh, instructor, surfer, and skater, who's gonna come with me to investigate one wheel. Hey, how's it going? What's going on, man? All right, man. It's good to see you. you Why are we here? Why did you call me out here? So I wanted to meet you here at Bellarmine uh, because that's where I met you nearly 30 years 30 ago. 30 years ago, and, right over there. And you looked pretty much the same. Pretty much, yeah, you too. Still trying to look cool. Have you cleaned your body today? No. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> So one wheel, it's kind of like your skateboard, but instead of four wheels, it's got one wheel and it's got one wheel. a battery and a brain and a motor and it's uh, something I want you to ride today. I'll be your guinea pig. Few places in the world are as well known for board sports as Santa Cruz, California. From skating to surfing to floating, Santa Cruz is a mecca to catching air and the natural choice for one wheels headquarters. Joe and I sat down with One Wheel founder and CEO, Kyle Dirksen, to find out how it all began. So 13 years ago, you slipped and fell in the shower and you saw the picture of the flux capacitor? Something like that. <laughs> Tell us about like your story. I just, I've, I'm amazed. I grew up snowboarding on powder and that to me is an awesome feeling that I want to have all the time. And I was like, how do you make something that feels like that to zoom around town? And so I got noodling on this concept um, in my garage and like got a scooter motor and like a chain drive. And at the time it was like lead batteries and tried to lash it all together in a way that would like actually ride. And after about a year, I got something that worked a little bit. <laughs> you were always kind of the tester of your own prototypes, right? Yeah, in the early days, you know, it was definitely a doing all my own stunts kind of situation. So do, you have, do you have scars I to was, show? I was, I was, yeah, I got some elbow, you know, burn, and, you know, hands healed up pretty good. But there's nothing like that first, you know, first ride experience where you're like, is this going to be awesome or terrible? We can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipating my imminent wipeout, I decided to stall for time by talking with One Wheel's chief evangelist and marketing guru, Jack Mudd. What's up, dogs? Dude, uh, what is happening, man? Gnarly day, man. So crazy. <laughs> I mean, I know we seem like a uh, cool company and all, but we take this Dude, really you have no idea. No, we're stoked, we're stoked. Listen, it's about KPIs, it's about ROI, it's about deliverables. So this is the first board that Kyle was talking about he made in his uh, garage? Yep. <gulp> this is the first one wheel of all time. Full gnar. Right this there. is old Ironsides. Wow. As we say. Look at that chain. You know, bicycle chain drive motor here. Uh, nice. Used to have these lead acid batteries. Whole thing weighed like 50 pounds. So this is the board that really launched it all. This was our Kickstarter board. Kickstarter was one, you went to 100, over 100%. Went, went ballistic. Yeah. yeah, we did seven times what we were looking for. We did $630,000 in 20 days. That was the moment when we were like, oh shoot. We gotta make it. Yeah, yeah, no, seriously, that, that, was, a, that was a crazy time. Yeah. We considered escaping to Mexico like, with the funds. Seriously, like we're going to I mean, Mexico. we talked about it. It was <laughs> talked about. Did you get them all out? We did. We got them all out in eight months, which is a minor miracle. With my thirst for knowledge quenched, Joe thought it only appropriate to prepare me in the ways of pre-board hijinks, shenanigans, and balanced training. How do you ride a one wheel? It's easy to ride. You step on it with your back foot, your front foot, come up to level, nice and slow. So you lean forward a little bit and you just get riding a little bit. So if you imagine riding a bike, actually going slow is the hardest part and you're gonna have a great time. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, Spicoli, I'm ready. <laughs> Probably gonna break my arm in your parking lot. I don't think so. <laughs> so, the way that this works is you start with your back foot, which is gonna be your right foot. This blue line separates two pressure sensitive pads. You're gonna push your front foot down, now it's engaged and it's balancing me. So uh -huh. I just stand natural, do my thing, and then I'm gonna look and lean this way. 
and it brings me that way. Now, if I want to go this way, I just lean that way. So, who wants to go first? Uh, I think Joe goes first. Yeah? All right. Okay. Is it ready for me? Yes. So, you're going to put your right foot right I, there. I wear a size 15, so is this going to be a problem? Man. No. Toe drag? Yeah, push your front foot mm -hmm. down. Look where you want to go and All lean. Right. All right. Yeah. You got it. I got it. Yeah, keep the momentum going. So, if I want to get a little bit faster, just lean forward a little bit? Yeah, and then to slow More down, pressure. you're going to lean back towards okay. me. Nice. As skating is to riding a skateboard, floating is what you call it when you ride a one wheel. How's it feel, Joe? Two words. Sick, brah. <laughs> Physically, feel it in my legs. Uh, I'm out of shape. A little bit excited up here. My heart. That was fun. A lot of fun. Well, now you have to live up to that. Yeah. A plus. Thanks, Thrasher. <laughs> All right. If I just find center, yeah, and just kind of lean nice. with it. Nice. Nice. So just said, wait a second. I don't want to go that way. I could just lean with it. Go. Look at this guy over Sweet. here. <laughs> On your right. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick. This is why I brought him though. We're building like a sport, you know, yeah. we're like snowboarding, started slow, they built, they built, they built. Originally they were just like some hooligans terrorizing the ski mountain, you know, and then became like a mainstream thing over time, right? And I, I think that's more like the journey that we're on. I think what's exciting about what we're doing is that it is totally different than what has been done. Is it snowboarding? No. Is it skating? No. We're doing something that hasn't happened before. And the stuff that you see people doing these days on one wheels is pretty amazing. When we went into this, we never didn't even consider riding off-road. Although it was a steep learning curve for an amateur like me, within five minutes, I was riding a one wheel comfortably. With the basics of floating under our belt, we decided to four-wheel over to Future Motion's manufacturing plant in San Jose to see how one-wheels are made. So Scott, how big is the one-wheel factory? We are just one small slice of a larger factory, but pretty much everything is all consolidated so that you can build an entire board in under two hours. So right now, we're where we build the motor. Go ahead and pick one up if you're sure you won't scratch it. What kind of motor is this? It's a brushless DC motor. Brushless. So, oh yeah, it's got some heft to it. And it's, a, it's a patented motor as well? It's, it's patented. We put a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears in this. Cool, okay, so then you have the motor and then the tires go on? Is that tires get installed with this guy. It's basically how you would do a car tire. These are go-kart tires? Go-kart tire. So this one's where we build uh, the main uh, right. terrain of it. Is that circuit board all assembled here? So that circuit board comes from our supplier assembled, but we do all of our testing here. Once we have everything in cases, that's when we can slap it between two rails, put foot pads on it, and then start doing test rides. It's gotta be a trip going from being like the guy who's making it to like now you're running a company. Just like kind of adding more and more layers out. First you gotta build the product, then you gotta like product manage, and then you gotta like manage the team, and then you gotta build the team, and then you gotta like build the systems to build the team. Next and then, thing you know, you, know, you got a drinking problem. <laughs> yeah, next thing you know, you got a drinking problem, exactly. <laughs> so that's how that goes. Are you psyched? I'm psyched. I'm so psyched because we're going outside and floating. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be, no, it's it's gonna gonna be epic. gnarly. Gnarls. Gnarly. Gnarls. Way more gnarly than epic. Where are you taking us, man? We're going up Empire Grade. Just gonna hit up some really good trails up so there. So we're gonna be bombing hills like this? Oh, definitely. You don't want to look like a total Barney. Yeah. yeah what's what do you gotta wear on the wheel? You gotta have. Six shoes, cool socks, basic, not super graphic tee. Some you, nice you clean probably, pants. Throw a cuff on your pants. Oh, at oh, least yeah. at least two yeah. cuffs. Yeah. Double cuff. Double, cuff. Double cuff. I think less you do more. The so looser you are, the easier it is. One wheel, zero bucks. It kind of gives you that little summertime snowboard feeling, like ripping through the trees and oh, yeah. dipping, dodging, weaving. What's different about riding on the trail? You have to think more about obstacles, some curves on the trail, like some banks, bumps and little hips and things. Even as uncoordinated a newbie as I am, the ride was exhilarating. 
Look at that. You just need some speed and yeah. you get cruising. Speed speeds everything. And my fellow floaters were amazingly generous and supportive the whole time. Uh, you had it. One will to rule them all! What do you think about, like, board sports now that you've seen it from a different angle? Gravity is still there and very important, but it was kind of a trip to be able to, like, ride a board up a hill. Do you think this will catch on? Do you think this will be, like, the next snowboard? I think it's going to be its own thing. Are these the kind of reflections that most men have, you think, just sitting out on a curb? With kale behind you and the future out in front. Well, I miss you, man. You too. <sighs> <laughs> so Jack, look into this camera and just tell our audience why they should consider buying a one wheel. You'll really enjoy it. You can, your life will change. Uh, we, we're all working hard to bring you a lot of fun and pleasure and joy. That is radical, dude. Nice. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming, you guys. This yeah. has been a lot of fun.